What's going on, guys? We are clearly living in the end times. Now, when all this, you know, this movement started happening, I told you there's a demonic spirit that is behind this. You know, they they trying to take over the schools, take over legislation, take over the entertainment. And now they want to come for God. They say they want to change God's pronouns. All right. To make him uh, more inclusive. All right. So they want to change, you know, change it where you're saying they and them. But we don't believe in polytheism. All right. The Bible says, hero Israel, the Lord, our God is one polytheism. Polytheism is, you know, believing that, you know, there are there are many gods. No, there is one God. All right. So three in one. Right. So for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten what son. He says, I will pour out what my spirit. I'll pour out my spirit. And then we have the father three in one. You see this three in one. We are made in the image of God. I have a flesh. All right. I have a spirit. I have a body and it's three in one. So there is no they blessed us, them blessed us. And I already the devil is so tricky. I already can see how this is going to be a problem for some people in the church. I already see how you just all I'm going to say is this. You better be praying because people be like, oh, I, I wouldn't be deceived by that. I w I'm not going to change God's pronouns and th they want to change it to uh, our father and our mother which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, right? This feminist movement, all of that stuff is demonic. And I can see the devil's tricky. I can see how some people are going to fall for this deception because you're going to have some people that are going to say, well, wait, well, you know, there is a they, there, there, there is a them, right? When, when these people say, those are my pronouns, we say, no, those are your demons. There is not a they, there is not a them. In the beginning, God is spirit. There was just God all by himself, period. Everything was in God. Go read Colossians chapter. He created all things. All things are by him, for him. There was nothing before him, nothing beside him. There was just God. All right. So I'm not going to get into all of that, but some of you can probably figure out, you know, why some people are going to be deceived by the church of England. They're going to say, oh, you know, that kind of makes sense. We are made in the image of God. Three in one. You better wake up. You better pay attention because it is getting crazy out here. People are being deceived. And the bottom line is we wrestle not against flesh and blood. There's demonic spirits that are trying to come against what God says a man is, a, what God says about a man. So God has a standard for a man, for a father, you know, for a husband. There's things that he expects. It's the same thing for a woman, you know, for a wife. You know, for mother, sister, there's certain things that God expects. So we are made equal, but differently. We have different roles. We have different functions. And no matter how the world tries to blur those lines, no matter how much they try to ignore the obvious things, like you take the WNBA and put them against the NBA, they're getting destroyed. All right, you take uh, the WNBA and put them against like a really good high school boys team. They're getting destroyed because God made men and one, women different. No matter how much they want to try to twist it around and act like that's not the normal, God made it where... A woman, right, carries a child and can nurture that child. She can do something that a, a man naturally cannot do, but they want to blur those lines. So by nature, the woman is a nurturer. By nature, the man is supposed to be the protector. They're, even the weakest guy is usually stronger than their wife. Hey, don't be deceived out here. It's getting crazy. Go to www.marcusrogersministries.org if you want to support what we're doing.